Welcome to my kitchen once again. Today I'm going to do something I haven't made it in a while. I used to make so much of this uh, when I had my little store. I'm going to make chocolate biscottis. Biscottis is a, a cookie, an Italian cookie, but when I made it into for my little store, I couldn't keep this on the shelves long enough. Uh, I'm going to go see my daughter-in-law, and this is one of our favorite, and I thought I would surprise her with this. So anyway, um, I have here two cups of flour, half a cup of butter, three eggs, one cup of sugar, some uh, toasted almonds chopped. I have half a cup of cocoa powder. Uh, I use in the dark uh, kind, I mean the lighter kind, but you can use the darker. I have... Uh, two tablespoons of um, espresso, some baking powder, baking soda, and uh, salt. And in here I have uh, vanilla extract and almond extract. So, um, like I said, when I had my little store, I used to have this little store in town. And I used to sell different cookies, biscotti, just Portuguese, and then I would have some of the Italian um, stuff because we have a lot of Italians um, here in our town. So I would do a lot of those for, for those customers. My little store was called the Olive Branch. And uh, five years ago, um, I had to close it. Uh, so, um, and that's why I still wanted to continue that the olive branch. So that's why I put Angela Castro dash the olive branch. That's what my um, YouTube um, uh, page is. So I'm going to uh, beat my egg white, my eggs, my sugar, and my butter until it's all creamy. Okay, my eggs are beaded until they have that pale yellow. So in my flour, I'm gonna add my baking powder, baking soda, and salt, add all that. And then I'm also gonna add the cocoa powder. You know, um, I had to come up with these recipes myself because I didn't know, I didn't have any of these recipes. So these are recipes I kind of made them myself of flavors that I thought I liked. Um, so, and like I said, I would make almost every other day I was making biscottis and I would make like four or five different uh, flavors. And then I would go with um, holidays. If it was like the fall, I would make some pumpkin. If it was Christmas, I would make some with cranberries. So, you know, everybody in town was um, loved that, that I had that assortment. Um, my little store, like I said, it was a variety of things. And, um, and then I had uh, a local uh, bakery that made sweet bread. And I used to go make sweet bread. I used to go get the sweet bread from them and then I would... Um, um, sell this also the sweet bread. I would make uh, uh, molasadas or collage every every weekend, every Saturday. I would make collage. That would go sometimes before ten o'clock. They were all gone. So anyway, this is a cookie that. They use a lot of this with coffee, but Italians like to use in port wine. Um, you know, the port or sherry, you can dunk this and it's very, um, you know, for a light dessert, just have some biscottis. And like I said, they're, they're delicious. They're not very sweet and, uh, and they're really good. That flour and this is going to be a um, it's 
It's not going to be a light batter, which I'm going to take this out. a light batter this is gonna be kind of a hard batter because you want to shape it into a loaf and this is twice bake so we bake it into a loaf and then after that we bake it we cut it um, and then we um, bake it again kind of just to dry it out um, most of the biscottis I put butter in mine but most of them they don't have uh, butter. I put the butter because they're too hard and I don't want to break my teeth. So I'm going to add my toasted almonds and now I'm just going to mix those almonds in there. And you know this is good because you get the taste of the almond then there's a little bit of that almond extract and then by adding the vanilla it's going to enhance the, um, the chocolate and then that coffee um, espresso so anyway and this is how it comes out it's kind of a thick batter and that's what you want I have some of my old customers from my store they still call me or text me if I'm doing any any goodies because they used to just come to the store and kind of just buy a different assortment of cookies and things that um, and some of were every week they were faithful every week they would come and see what I had so anyway so now I'm gonna shape this into a loaf and I'm have some parchment paper on the bottom of my cookie sheet and I got my oven preheated at 350 and uh, well, we're gonna bake this and you don't want to make it too too big I mean you want to make it a little bit longer so you have some nice biscottis I used to make and they used to be long but this one like I said my daughter-in-law that was one of our favorites so since we're gonna go see them in a couple days, I thought I would surprise her with some of this. And you kind of just want to shape it and, you know, kind of flatten. And at the ends, so you don't have little pieces at the, at the ends. Another thing that I forgot to, to take, I usually like to put some of this raw sugar on top. It kind of gives a little crunch and um, it looks pretty when you cut it. And I'm gonna do this double, double chocolate. So it's chocolate and then I'm gonna dip them in chocolate ganache and so they'll have the bottom will be chocolate. So I'm gonna bake this for about 35, 40 minutes and then I'll come back. Okay friends, I just took my, I took my uh, biscotti out of the oven a few minutes ago and now we're gonna cut it it's still warm and you needed a serrated knife because it's um, soft and it's still hot so you want to cut it when it's still able you're still able to to cut it because if, if you go way too long um, you won't be able to cut it and then once we get it, we're going to put it in back in the cookie sheet facing up. And we go, this goes back in the oven to bake the second time. Mm, so good. I'm very impatient. So I used to 
make double of this, triple of this. Because like I said, I had to make big quantities because they would go. And here it is. This is delicious. I'll start nibbling before you finish. So this goes back in the oven at 300 until they're completely dry. Okay, friends, my biscottis are done. They're, they're hard, they're dry. And now I'm going to cover them with chocolate, the butter of them. And I, in here I have one cup of chocolate chips and a teaspoon of um, coconut oil. And you put it for a minute in the microwave until it starts melting. And, uh, and then you have um, chocolate to put it in the bottom or any cookie that you wanna drizzle or cover with chocolate. That's what it is. So I'm gonna cover just the bottom and then I put them in a refrigerator for a few minutes and it will harden. And then, uh, uh, and then it will be ready to, to munch. I did so many of these. Oh my goodness. I would get up at four in the morning just to make biscottis, tarallis, biscotch, you name it. I would be up before the chickens. And you can do this with white chocolate if you didn't want chocolate. This is this particular biscotti is called double chocolate. And it's because of this, because it has chocolate inside and then it has the chocolate in the outside. It's been at least maybe five years I haven't made this. I guess when you make so much, you get tired, then you don't make them. But I know some of my old customers, they ask for it. When are you gonna make more? And then I would let them dry and then I would put them in a little bakes and put a label and they were done. And you want plenty of chocolate in, a, chocolate in the bottom. Don't be stingy. I don't like to be stingy. If you're gonna have chocolate, you better have chocolate. Let's see if there's anyone that doesn't have enough chocolate. I'm gonna with whatever it's in here. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and then I'll come back. Good okay, friends, my biscottis are done. They're all dry, see? And then I'm gonna put it in these little baggies so I can take it to my daughter-in-law because I know she loves these. And this is how I used to do it when I had my store. I would make it and then put it in these little baggies. And it hardens in no time. And this will be a perfect, you know, Christmas gift. Or if you have a birthday and for somebody that has everything, Make a little bit some biscotti. Everybody likes something sweet. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna need another bag. Okay, friend, and here it is, my my biscottis, my double chocolate biscotti. Give me three bags. This is for my daughter-in-law that I'm gonna go see this weekend. And this is one of our favorites, so I'm gonna take it for her. 
So you give it a try to this recipe if that's something you want to try. Um, give me some feedback. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Share my channel with your friends and in your social media. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.